Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Here we share beginner-friendly coding tutorials on Scratch, Roblox, Minecraft, web programming, and many more. And today we're going to create the famous snake game using Python Turtle. Okay, so in this project, I will teach you how to create your own snake game in Python. And we're also going to have two parts for this tutorial. So in the first part, I'll show you how to create the basics of the game. So such as the snake head right here and the food, and then also how to define the instructions to control the game. So let's get started. So first, we'll start by creating a new project on our Python code editor. And the first thing we need to do is to find the libraries that we're going to use. And libraries are collections of code that we can use and reference to do different tasks in Python. And in today's game, we will import the time, random, and turtle libraries. So let's do that. Import turtle. All right, import turtle, import time, and import random. import random all right and now we'll continue by defining our first global variable so global variables are variables that can be accessed by any function in the project and the idea is to have values that can be read by any part of the code so in this case we'll set up three variables um first a delay which i'll explain later what it does and the score um, variable and high score variable So our next step will be to set up the screen in which we will play this game. So to set up a screen in Python Turtle, we need to store it in a variable first, which we'll call um, WN for short. So equals turtle dot screen. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and also give it a title. So window dot title. Call it snake game. Okay. And I also want to change my background color. So I can do window.background color blue. And then I want to set up the screen size. So window.set up. Let's say width will be 700 and height will also be 700. Okay. And then we also want to turn off automatic updates, which are needed to display the game correctly. All right, now to play the game, we'll use two turtles to control the head of the snake and the food. So the setup of both of them is very similar. We begin by storing a new turtle in the variable using turtle, in a variable using turtle. Okay, so we'll say head equals to turtle dot turtle. Okay, and then we'll also set the speed. Okay, and the shape will be square. Okay, and then we also want to use um, the here we want to use the function speed zero to remove any movement um, animation from the turtle. And then we're going we also use the shape function here, and we're also going to go ahead and use the color function here to sort of design our turtle object. I'm going to choose black. And here I'm going to use the um, pen up. So head dot pen up. Okay, so that they don't leave any trace when they move, then we'll be able to move them to an, an initial position um, using go to. So I'm going to set the initial position to zero zero x zero y zero. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and store a variable as part of the head called direction, all right, which we'll use to determine where the snake is going on. So for example, if you try to move in the opposite direction, you're currently moving, nothing happens. Okay, now it's a very similar setup for the snake food. Okay, so I'm going to store it in a variable called food, turtle.turtle. Turtle. 
and then also same thing so that speed so that there's no um, any movement from the turtle object so that shape let's say circle and then we're going to now move the object to an initial position so food that ten up and then go to and i will set it to zero x and 100 for y okay so now you might be wondering how do we create the body of the snake using only two turtles right so we need to increase the side of the size of the snake for each piece of food so each circle it eats okay well what we're going to do is we're going to create an empty list which will store the body of the snake all right so i'm going to say segment equals to empty list okay and the idea that we're going to do is we're going to make copies of the snake's head and store them in this list and they will follow the next piece of body in the list until they reach the head, which will decide the next direction. Okay, so next we'll create a turtle just to write down the scores. So pen equals turtle dot turtle. Then we'll also go ahead and set the pen speed to zero so that there's no movement from the turtle object. All right. So now that we have set the speed, let's also go ahead and set the pen color. So pen dot color. Let's set it to white. Okay. And then now I want to make sure that my turtle object starts at a particular location. So first I gotta do pen up. Okay, so I'll say pen dot pen up. And I will also hide the turtle. Okay, because this turtle will be invisible and it will only be used anytime we eat a piece of food. All right, that's when the score changes. So to make it invisible, we have to add the line hide turtle. So we'll do pen dot hide turtle. And then now we're going to also move it to the place we want the score to be at. So we'll say pen dot go to zero and 310 for y. Okay, and then I want to also go ahead and write down the message now. So pen dot write. So score zero. High score also zero, of course, in the beginning of the game. And then I want it to be aligned in the center. So align equals to center. And I can choose the, um, you can also choose the font here. For me, I'm going to go with Courier as my um, font and size 24 normal okay so this part is of course completely up to you but this is how i like it to be written okay so now comes an interesting part which is doing the functions of the game so the functions are basically pieces of code that can be called when needed so in this case we'll start by defining how the snake is going to change its direction okay so of course, in the game, we will have multiple directions that the snake can go, which is up, down, left, and right. Okay, so let's say right now we'll do the go up function. So def, df, go up. Okay. Now, what we want to do is first, let's say when the snake is going up, as long, um, we'll say that uh, the snake's uh, direction Okay, it can be set to up as long as it wasn't heading down. So otherwise, the snake, otherwise it means that the snake can go in reverse, which is impossible. So to achieve this, we're going to use an if statement to check where the snake is heading. And if the direction is not the opposite of where we want to go, then we can change that direction. So we'll say if head dot direction not equal to down. Okay, so we'll set it to up. All right, so that's the default, go up if it's not moving down. Okay, and then same thing, DEF, go down. If head dot direction not equal to up, then we'll also set it to down. So head dot direction equals to down. Same thing, we're going to do reverse. So D, uh, DEF, go left. So if it's not heading to the right, we'll set the direction to left. So 
if head dot direction not equal to right, then we'll set head dot direction to equal to left. And then last we have df go right. Okay, the function to go right. So if head dot direction not equal to left, then we will make it move to the right. Head dot direction equals to right. Okay, so now we'll um, define a function to move this name. We check what's the status of the direction value of the head, all right? And then we can change the position of the head by 20 depending on that direction. So remember, we can perform this check using if statement. Okay, so we'll again say def move, okay, the function for move if head dot direction is equal to up, then we are going to change its y coordinate. So y dot equals to head dot y core, y coordinate. And then we want to plus 20 so that it moves up. So head dot set y to be y plus 20. Okay, and then of course, if head dot direction equals to down, okay, then we'll do the same thing. We'll minus 20 from y so that it moves down. So y equals to head dot y core, head dot set y to be y minus 20. Okay, now, so now that we're doing left and right, it will be the x axis. So if the direction equals to left, then we'll go ahead and say, okay, x is equal to the coordinate. Okay, and then we'll set it to be minus 20 to go to the right, to the left side. Okay, and then last we have right. So if head that direction equals to right, Okay, then x equals to head dot x core, and then head dot set x, x plus 20 to go to the right. Okay, and the last thing we'll do is we're going to need to bind these functions to a specific key on your keyboard. So to do this, we use the instruction listen executed by our window. And this will make our game be able to pick up the key inputs we give it, then run a function depending on the key. So in our case, we're going to use WASD keys to control up, uh, left, down, and right movements of the snake. All right, so we're going to go ahead and use the instruction um, bind to assign these keys to the, fun to the functions we just typed in. Okay, so we'll say when dot listen window dot listen and dot on key press okay we will run the function go up when w is clicked okay now window on key press so go down will be activated by s okay and then on key press, go left is by A. And then we have D for going to the right. So window dot on key press, go right, and then D. Okay, so now we have the basics. Um, the, we have built the basics of the game and then you can see that now we're slowly getting to our finished game okay so we'll try to see what we have done so far by running our code so i'll click run run module all right you can see we have score and high score written and then our window is also made with a blue background okay so that's all for today for part two we will code um in the game loop, which will allow us to control the actual flow of the game. And I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like our videos. Also check out these uh, two other videos here while you're waiting for the next video. Thank you. Bye.